Volubilis, a fertile plain beneath the mountains of Jebel Zerhun, surrounds the most important ancient Roman excavation site in Morocco. The former administration seat of the Roman African province of Mauritania, Tingitana, contained all the necessary attributes of a highly developed city. The remains of these ancient buildings were discovered at the end of the 19th century. Archaeologists gradually began to uncover numerous ancient buildings. In addition, French scientists managed to reconstruct several small sections of buildings, but the remainder of Volubilis is still in ruins. The ruins date back to the 1st and 3rd centuries AD, a golden time in this region. The production of oil and grain made the city prosper. Until now, 50 oil mills have been discovered. During its golden years, the city covered an area of around 40 hectares. The Roman settlement remained free from invasion for many years and was therefore able to develop without interruption from hostile forces. Thus, splendid and luxuriously furnished atrium villas were built. The majority of the dwellings of the town's wealthy citizens contained a colourful array of artistic floor mosaics. As Volubilis became the most important Roman trading centre and governmental seat in Morocco, an area devoted entirely to villas was developed to the northeast of the Decumanus Maximus Road. The high standard of living enjoyed in those times is clearly demonstrated by the richly detailed architecture of this area. Some of the inhabitants were able to afford to decorate their villas with precious works of art. Bronze sculpture was extremely popular during Roman times. But the dwellings in Volubilis are remarkable for their flaws. Today, the villas have been named according to their magnificent mosaics. For example, the House of Orpheus is adorned with beautiful animal mosaics. An allegorical picture of the Four Seasons is a frequently recurring motif in the floor mosaics of the splendid villas that are located along the Decumanus Maximus Road. A 
Another fine residence, the House of Hercules, depicts the legendary deeds of this hero of antiquity. Even today, almost 1,700 years after the first impressive mosaics were laid within the villas, their colours are amazingly fresh and vibrant. Today, 30 different floor mosaics are on display in Volubilis, each one in its original location. Even with unusually long periods of peace, right up until the end of the 3rd century AD, the Romans never completely subjugated the city's native population. The two sections of the population enjoyed a purely practical relationship. Thus, the Romans managed to develop the city free from military incident. Majestically, proudly and relatively unscathed, the monumental Arch of Caracalla towers above. It was built in 217 AD by the procurator of the Roman province. The arch was dedicated to Emperor Caracalla, who was killed after the relatively short term of office of six years. Fortunately, the building has survived to the present. Nevertheless, several of the sculptures that adorned the arch have perished, and the marble that the Romans used in their buildings was later pillaged. At one time, these niches were decorated with icons, a bronze battle chariot, that depicts the triumphant Emperor Caracalla crowns the arch. The transfer of the province's capital to Tingis, today's Tangier, meant for Volubilis the end of Roman dominance. However, the city survived. Thus, Latin continued to be the region's official language until the end of the 7th century. It came to an end only when the Arabs conquered North Africa. In order to gather marble for new palaces in Meknes, some 30 kilometers away, during the 18th century, the majority of the city's ancient Roman buildings were destroyed. Time had eventually taken its inevitable toll. 